Well, welcome back to another RMS Support Center tutorial video. Today's topic will cover how to import an SDEF file into RMS. The SDEF, or Standard Data Exchange File, is a fast and easy way to import schedule information into RMS for contracts who are set up to upload schedules by importing. Let's go ahead and get started by entering into our contract. On the contract menu, we're going to click on the tab that says Import Export. Then we're going to click on the blue tile that says NAS SDEF. Here we have a list of all the SDEF files that have been added to our contract. We can add an SDEF file by hitting the Add button in the left hand corner. Now we can select our SDEF file. At the top we can select our file type. We can also change our file version if we have multiple of the same file uploaded. And lastly we can enter in our project ID. Now that we have added our SDEF file, we are now in the SDEF edit view. And here we have a quick overview of what our data will look like. At the top, it gives us a quick summary of what's included in this SDEF file, like the activity count, the total activity cost, and etc. Down below we have our data grid that shows each activity within the SDEF file. If we click on this tab here, it will show us all calendar information included in the SDEF file. And lastly, we have the SDEF tab that shows us the original SDEF file that we have now added into RMS. We can also preview what the data will look like into the contract when we click this Preview Data Import into Contract button. Here we can see what activities will be added and deleted. We see that we have some activities that were not included in our SDEF and will be deleted within the red text stating that the activity will be deleted. If we scroll down to the bottom, we can see the activities that do not exist but were included on our SDEF that they will in fact be added to our contract. We can also see the data for our payment by going back to the previous view and clicking on the button Preview Import Earnings into Payment. Once when you verified that all data looks correct on the standard data exchange file and that the payment and also activities look good, we can then go ahead and click the button Request Acceptance to Import. 